This is the 2024 Acer Chromebook Spin 312, a small 12.2 inch convertible touchscreen Chromebook. I've had this one on loan to me from Acer UK since my unboxing video at the end of January, so I'm ready to give you my thoughts. I'll link you to that unboxing video at the end of this one. As I publish this video in the UK, it's back on sale for just under £200, and in general, as you'll see, it's a solid performer but there's a few important things to be aware of. In the US, there's also a higher spec version that's currently available on sale for $299. US We'll come back to why I think that's a big deal and why I hope we get to see that model spec here in the UK and in other regions in the future. I've liked the small size of the Spin 312 with its 12.2 inch display and the taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I describe it as a fairly solid feeling Chromebook in the hand with its weight of about 1.31 kg, that's around 2.90 pound, and it's in this all plastic build. I really wished it would have been lighter than its predecessor, the Spin 311, and that had the much older MT8183 processor. So perhaps if we see a MediaTek version of this Spin 312 in the future, it'd help to get the weight down a bit. I found the selection of ports and connectivity decent, of course a second USB-C port to have one on both sides would have been nice, but the likely trade-off here is that we've got the HDMI port, which I know many will be pleased to see. You've also got those side speaker grills, which I felt did something to help alongside the positioning of the speakers on the bottom of the Chromebook, but the sound quality was still pretty average as you may expect. The Intel M100 processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of VMMC storage in Chrome OS has been fine for me when I've been logged in with one user for casual use and a bit of light Android gaming, and if you're in the UK like me, right now it's the only option available here. It's the spec I mentioned at the start of the video seen in the US model that I really wish we had. We've seen it in other Chromebooks including the Acer Chromebook 314 from 2023. Having that extra power from the Intel Core i3 N305 processor in a small form factor Chromebook is really pretty unique. Here and in several other countries since the end of 2023 we've already had a small 12.2 inch convertible Chromebook offering configurations with the Intel N100 processor and 8GB of RAM. That's the Lenovo Flex 3i Chromebook. In the US they oddly never had the Lenovo Flex 3i Chromebook with an 8 gig of RAM option, so I'd imagine that Acer introducing the Spin 312 there with the Core i3 N305 and the 8 gig of RAM will help them lead that 12.2 inch convertible Chromebook space. If Acer had or maybe still would bring a spec of this Spin 312 here with the Intel Core i3 N305, it'd certainly put any buyers in a spot where they're having to look at the Acer twice for the benefit of that extra processor power and the RAM. With either processor in the Spin 312 though, you'll still get Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. All that said, the first plus side of having this Intel N100 processor is that although there is a fan in this model, it won't be needed during use. The only time I've heard it spin up is during a restart of the Chromebook for a few seconds after an update. With the core i3 N305, it will be needed at times during use to cool the processor. The second main benefit of the Intel M100 processor is battery life. This Spin 312 takes it fairly easy on the 50 watt hour battery if you're using it for light browsing. I think the estimated 13 hour battery life might still be a bit of a stretch, but with mixed use I was certainly getting into a second day of on off use before feeling the need to charge. Even then when using the included 65 watt USB-C charger, in just one hour I was able to get close to 90% of the battery's capacity so a lot to like there. The keyboard deck is familiar if you've used a 3 series Acer Chromebook before. I've really liked typing on this Acer Chromebook Spin 312, the keys have a more medium to deeper travel to them. The Ocean Glass branded touchpad, although plastic, feels extremely smooth, well seated, and it responds well to taps and clicks. Being fully convertible brings all the benefits you'd expect of being able to use this Spin 312 in different configurations with its IPS touch display. It's nice and bright, although I'm not quite sure it's up to the claimed 300 nits from Acer. The WUXGA resolution in this 16 by 10 aspect ratio lets you fit a lot on your display too. And the touch response has been good. Although the bezels aren't exactly small, they might be handy for holding the screen in tablet mode, especially for kids. There's no pen support on this model with the Intel M100 processor, but it does look like a USI pen is supported on the higher spec version with the Intel Core i3 N305. The webcam at the top of the display has a manual privacy slider, but again in this spec with the Intel M100 processor, we're just getting an entry level HD webcam. 
But if you have the Core i3-N305 processor, you may have guessed you're going to get a better webcam. It's full HD and should produce some better results. Even with that model though, you still won't get the extra camera and audio controls found with Chromebook Plus models, as it doesn't get the branding or Chromebook Plus update. Perhaps this is Acer reserving the Chromebook Plus status for their mid and higher end 5 and 7 series Chromebooks. If you're interested to see what a more premium convertible Chromebook Plus model from Acer does deliver, then check the video on the left hand side of the screen now. That's my review of the Acer Chromebook Plus Spin 714. Otherwise, the video on the right view is my unboxing and initial impressions of this Acer Chromebook Spin 312. Cheers.